Hey, fight fans. Welcome back to another edition of Greatest Hits here on Boxing Legends TV. Am I wrong for saying that I'm the best? Don't it, don't it also show? Today, we'll be taking a look at the pound-for-pound -pound king of boxing, the five-weight world champion, the undefeated and undisputed master of the ring, Floyd Money Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather turned pro on October 11, 1996, fresh off his Olympic triumphs that saw him capture a silver medal. He faced Roberto Apodaca in the Texas Station Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. This one is scheduled for four in the super featherweight division. It's very legal, the body shot. Good double left hook by Mayweather. Well, he told us yesterday he did not want to slug. He wanted to box. And oh, Apodaca was hurt by that exchange. And I do not think he's getting up, and he is not. This one has been stopped. October 3, 1998, Floyd Mayweather challenged for his first world title in the super featherweight division against the longtime respected champion Gennaro Hernandez. I think Mayweather may be one of the best natural fighters around. Natural because he does it just like he's walking down the street. There's no strain. Beating Hernandez to the punch. Make no secret of the fact that they often disagree. Floyd's reflexes and youth seemed to be too much for Hernandez to handle, and at the end of round eight, Gennaro's trainer, who was also his brother, made the decision to pull him out of the fight after suffering a one-sided beating. Your brother says, Rudy Hernandez stops the fight. And I think that was courageous. You need some time, a brother who loves you, care about you. Angelo Dundee said, I'm the chief corner man, stop the fight. We're gonna let Larry Holmes punish him more hammered anymore, so. May 22, 1999. Floyd was making his third defense of his super featherweight title as he faced the former sparring partner of his uncle, Jeff Mayweather, Justin Juco. There's every chance he might go the distance with Justin Juco. You know, there's, there's absolutely nothing. Juco is hurt by that right hand. Just as I said, it might go the distance, of course. Floyd hammers Juco with two right hands. And Six, Mitch Halpern counts. Seven, and Juco eight, doesn't look like he wants nine. to go on. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's the. He doesn't know where he is. It happens like that, Larry. So once again, he gave it to him. Way that Trump does just as we were speculating. I mean, Justin Juco that's was a very tough opponent. He came in at the last minute, but he was already training for a, a tough fight. But um, I took my time, stayed, stayed focused, kept my composure, listened to my corner, and um, I got the job done. January 20th, 2001. Mayweather got his breakout fight against the undefeated and 33 Diego Corrales and didn't disappoint as he put on a boxing clinic and beat up the IBF champ in his most impressive performance to date. Right on up, best, best point made. Good left hook by Floyd Mayweather. A guy like Mayweather, you get his confidence going and you're going to have trouble. Mayweather is working it now. Corrales has not used the jab all night. being controlled, but one, all he takes is one or two good shots. Right hand, another knockdown, fifth knockdown of the fight, Three. fifth knockdown of Corrales' career, another mark of what a performance it's been. Ray Woods is up on the apron, that's going to be the end of the fight. Corrales did come back, 138. Steele is holding Luka Morales to try to keep him away from his own corner man. December 7th, 2002. After a controversial decision in their first bout, Floyd wasted no time putting critics in their place as he rematched Jose Luis Castillo at the Mandalay Bay Resort. Floyd was now campaigning at lightweight and making his first defense of his WBC crown. And this is a good fight because the fight is coming to Mayweather. And that's what you want. Make the fight come to you. Again, Mayweather clocks Castillo with a little left hook. Whoa! Good counter right hand from Mayweather there. Castillo's uh, right here, left ear. And let me tell you, that could bring on some damage for Castillo if this fight continues. One could get knocked down easily. 
The second fight proved to be another close affair, and after 12 rounds, the decision was left to the judges at ringside. And Judge Ken Morita scored the bout 115 to 113. All to the winner by way of unanimous decision. And still, WBC lightweight champion of the world, pretty boy Floyd Mayweather Jr. June 25th, 2005. Floyd had built up a record of 33-0 and yet again moved up another weight class to take on the fan favorite WBC super lightweight champion Arturo Gotti at the Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Then do I care about Arturo Gotti? No. Do I respect him as a fighter? No. Tonight, two fighters with very different styles enter the ring. Gotti, the back and forth action fighter. Mayweather, the smooth and elusive, ultra talented boxer. The super quickness of Floyd Mayweather produces a knockdown. Tide has turned. Tide has turned. And here comes Gotti back. Could we see another battle for the ages? We'll find out moments from now. Gotti Mayweather is next. I expect you to protect yourself at all times. Keep your punches up and give me a good clean break. Touch gloves and good luck. Very hard to hit because of his elusiveness and very solid with that straight right hand to make the point to Floyd. And Floyd hit the deal on the break and now there's a knockdown in round one. Left hook grazed Gaddy's chin and another big left hook catches him slightly. Right hand is solid. Combinations by Mayweather. Too much speed. Maybe too much power too. Entirely too much speed. It became clear at the first bell that someone with Arturo's all-action style would not fare well against the slick defense and supreme counterpunching ability of Floyd Mayweather. And after six one-sided rounds, Gotti's corner decided to withdraw their man. April 8, 2006, Floyd leaped up yet another weight class to fight IBF champ and sworn enemy, Zab Judah. Shake hands, good luck. Go! The control. And now Mayweather is starting to attack. No question. After a very close opening to the fight, Floyd started to up his game in the late rounds and earned himself a unanimous decision victory, becoming a four-weight world champion in the process. May 5, 2007, a supremely confident Mayweather took on the pay-per-view King of Kings and current WBC super welterweight champion Oscar De La Hoya. I'm gonna make it a rough and tough fight come May 5th. I'm gonna make it a rough and tough I'm so scared. Hi, my name Oscar De La Hoya. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna. You ain't gonna do shit. Oscar was regularly bringing in one million pay-per-view buys each fight for many years. Floyd, on the other hand, had only fought three times on the pay-per-view platform so far, with his highest numbers only being 375,000. So, going into this fight, Floyd was for the first and last time on the B side of negotiations, and he knew winning it would put him right up as the number one earning boxer in the sport. Mayweather with a right hand across the top, first significant landed blow of the fight. Uh, Mayweather in the middle of the ring is quicker beating him to the punch. Oscar trying to figure out how to crowd him. Straight right hand lead for Mayweather. Tremendously effective with that punch. And instantly he moves away to the side. Left hook lead, moves away to the side. This is vintage Mayweather. Oscar made his intentions known early as he attacked Mayweather to the body and forced the fight to be fought at a high tempo. But Mayweather once again came on strong late, landing some clean counter punches, and after 12 rounds, the fight was left to the judges at ringside. 115, 113 to the winner by split decision, and new. WBC Super Welterweight Champion of the World, Pretty Boy, Floyd Mayweather. December 8, 2007, Floyd took on Britain's own, the undefeated Ricky Hatton at the MGM in Las Vegas, Nevada. But he's already got a big knot to the right side of his right eye from the left hand, and there it is again, the left hook. Walks into a right hand, does Hatton. That every time he faints off to his right, you know a shot's coming. And he gets nailed with a left hook right there. Faints again. Open again. Watch him, folks. When he faints to the left, he's wide open for the left hand. 
Right hand by Mayweather. Hatton's bulldozing style proved to be unsuccessful once again as Floyd picked him apart with fast counter punches on the back foot. And in round 10, he landed a sweet left hook that Hatton never saw coming. Passing by Mayweather. Hatton sticking to his test but gets through. Left hook drops him. And then he hit his head off the turnbuckle. And he's very, very wobbled. A left hook hit like a bolt out of the blue. But the seven and eight. His eyes are clear, but his legs aren't there. The fight is over. Floyd Mayweather has stopped Ricky Hatton in the 10th round to retain the WBC and Ring Magazine Welterweight Championship of the World. September 19th, 2009, Mayweather faced off with a Mexican legend, Juan Manuel Marquez. He's a tough campaigner, Marquez. And he said he's doing this to the Mexican people, but down he goes. And that was sharp and slick and accurate from Floyd Mayweather. And take their hats off to the class that Mayweather is showing left hand. And that lovely left hook again. So he actually gets power into the left hook as he's pulling his chin out of hand's way. Amazing, I mean, you can't really teach fighters things like that. It's just instinctive, natural. Coming off a 21-month layoff, Floyd showed that the ring rust was not a problem as he schooled Marquez like never before, landing beautiful right hands and using his impeccable defense to avoid being hit. Floyd! Money! May 1st, 2010, Floyd faced the experienced veteran Shane Mosley at the MGM in Las Vegas, Nevada. Mosley was coming off back-to-back -back knockouts over Ricardo Mayorga and Antonio Margarito. So going into the fight, he was confident of stopping the undefeated in 40 Mayweather. And that almost came to fruition in the opening rounds as he stunned and hurt Mayweather for the first time in his career. And we've got to fight for a moment here. Mosley, Mosley, Mosley! Another big right hand! Mayweather's knees buckled on the second right hand. Mosley drives him into the ropes. Tries to go to the body. Mayweather defending well as always. He's not really hurt. He tried to feign it a little bit. I think he's hurt. But as the fight went on, Mayweather found his range and started to dominate using his incredibly fast right hand. Another stunning right hand by Mayweather and a big left hook. He's landing shots cleanly inside. May 5th, 2012, Floyd faced off with the Puerto Rican superstar, Miguel Cotto, moving back up in weight to try and capture another title at light metal. For this fight, Floyd weighed in at a career heaviest 151 pounds. Let's go. Vamos. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Look how he turns his shoulder. Look at the way he's just like that. Hey, Cotto is coming in. In what would be an exciting back and forth fight with both men having their moments of glory, Mayweather ultimately landed the more eye catching shots and earned himself a unanimous decision. September 14, 2013. Mayweather faced who many felt would be his toughest challenge to date in Saul Canelo Alvarez. Canelo had already built up a solid record of 42-0 by the age of 23, and along the way had been successfully challenging himself against some of the biggest names in the sport. You see that he is composed now for backing up again. Lead right hand there. Under a minute remaining in the second as Mayweather pops off a couple more jabs. Have to be desperate. One-two combination there by Mayweather. Nice right hand by Mayweather off the jab. Doing his best to do just that, but again a quick counter left hand by Mayweather, showcasing his still very formidable speed, especially in the hands. Mayweather's experience showed as he effectively outworked and outmaneuvered the Mexican, winning the bout by a majority decision. 17 years and I'm still going strong. I want to thank God for this victory because without God all this wouldn't be possible. May 2nd, 2015. The public finally got to see the mega fight they've been waiting for. Mayweather faced off against his long-term pound-for-pound rival, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Precisely, Pacquiao wanted to attack from angles in this fight, and Freddie Rose told us he was going to try. Not always been a quick start. Hard right hand again by Mayweather. He's landed two clean right hand shots in the first.
strap. Two big right hand shots. And he knocked your lines up good this world today. Mayweather lands another straight right hand, backing Pacquiao up. Combinations which have worked so well for Manny Pacquiao against virtually every other opponent are swinging at air against Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather was trying to get away. Hard right hand by Mayweather. Retaliation for the shot that Pacquiao landed. He is a wizard, Floyd Mayweather. People compare him to Brunel Whitaker and why not? It's not all them landing, but this is what he wants. But what Mayweather's doing is trying to get Pacquiao comfortable at attacking so that he can time the attack and catch him with a good counter on the way. Despite the huge buildup, with many boxing experts predicting Pacquiao to be the victor, Floyd boxed a smart fight, avoiding too much engagement with the Filipino slugger, essentially winning the bout fairly comfortably on points. Celebration is probably beginning. And still undefeated, Floyd Am I wrong for saying that? Am I wrong for saying that I'm the best? Don't it, don't it also show? I'm, I'm just being, don't it show? Well, yeah, you've proven it. You're I'm saying like, no, I understand that. But let me ask you a quite different way. Okay. Do you want to be liked? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Long, long as God loves me, and I'm speaking from the heart, that's what counts. Thanks for watching, fight fans. We hope you enjoyed this edition of Greatest Hits. If you did, please remember to support our channel by pressing the like button and subscribing to our channel if you're new around here. Until next time, this is Boxing Legends TV, signing off.